wireless range on this is up to 30 meters. So let me show you how far I am away from the speakers, just testing this out. You can hear the music in the background. How cool is that? Hi guys, today we're unboxing and setting up some Bluetooth ceiling speakers. So this particular set is from Lif Audio. Details including purchasing links are in the description below. So I've been looking at ceiling speakers for a while now and a lot of them don't come with an amplifier built in. So what's quite clever about these, they have an amplifier built in and Bluetooth connectivity on there. So if they didn't have an amplifier built in, you'd actually have to route cables, speaker cables to your amplifier. So the nice thing about this is, the fact is, you can retrofit this in any sort of situation. The only hassle with it, I guess, is installing it in the ceiling and finding sufficient area to put it in where you're not gonna get in the way of any pipes or wires etc. So as part of this package we've got the main ceiling speaker including a passive speaker and five meters of cable and also speaker fire and acoustic hood. So worth getting one of these just for fire safety reasons and also for improved acoustics. Let's take a look at some of the details behind this packaging. Okay, so on the back here, they've got some details. The diameter of the speaker grill is 230 millimeters. Ceiling depth required for this is 97 millimeters. The hole to cut out would be 210 millimeters and they've supplied a template with it, they've highlighted. Speaker specification, so they're saying 55 hertz to 20 kilohertz. RMS power is 50 watts. Impedance is eight ohms. It has APTX low latency for improved sound aligning analog RCA. There's options for selecting stereo and mono output. Subwoofer is six and a half inch Kevlar woven cone, polypropylene. Tweeter is 0.75 inches titanium cone. Bluetooth connectivity wise, it's Bluetooth 5. It's backwards compatible with Bluetooth 4.2. Wireless range is up to 30 meters. Power details are here. So DC 24 volts, 2.5 amps. So let's open up all this packaging and see what you get in there. So you know the routine, I've laid out everything you get in the packaging, so let me quickly run through the items one by one. The fire and acoustic hood comes with instructions on installation. Now, good idea to get one of these, only because the sound quality will be better, because it will improve acoustics when it's in a ceiling. Build-wise, it's all a strong material all the way around, and you can see just tightly woven around the edges, and you can see at the top here as well, the material used is very strong. The passive speaker comes with a speaker operation manual and details on how to install and a template. Looking on the other side, there's nothing more on that sheet of paper. And template wise, this just pops out and it's the same size obviously for both speakers. And you can mark out the area you need to cut out. Looking at the passive speaker, let me take the cover off. So the cover is magnetic. And if you look on there, it's all plasticky all the way around. There's some material on this side. And if I just gently put it into position, it just locks in with the magnets there. Now, in terms of build and construction of this, strong plastic all the way around. You can see four screw locations. There's a switch over here. And if I spin it around, so this is how it locks into your ceiling. So you can spin this around and then pull it down. So the idea being you just screw it until it tightens onto your ceiling and then it holds it nicely in position. So four of these on that. Coming over to the back of the speaker, you can see the details on the back of there, some of the components there. Looking at the connections on there, so gold plated and it says in plus and in minus. And if I come around the side and the way the connection is made is you just push this down slot the cable in, release, and it locks it in position. Looking around the top, you can see some of the components of the speaker, and there you go. And again, the subwoofer here, and the tweeter just over there, just to show. Next, looking at the Bluetooth seeding speaker content. So you get a template, same as the other one for the passive speaker, and you get an instruction manual, and flicking through here briefly, all instructions are in English. It says at the back comes with a two year guarantee. You get a power adapter with this and it's 24 volts 
2.5 amps output on this small compact in design strong plastic construction you've got a DC connection on there the cable on this is one meter in length and it uses this cable to plug it in so it's a connector you'd use on a PC just to show and one meter length on this as well so you got in total two meters there and it's plugged so you've got a three pin plug just over here now to connect this into your ceiling obviously you'd want to call an electrician and get the wiring coming off your lighting circuit you get an LED cover so there's an LED indicator on the speaker so if you didn't want that to be seen outside you can put that cover on so it's just blanked out so it's good they give that so it may irritate you seeing a light in the ceiling for the speaker so at least they've provided that which is a good idea now coming to the speaker again it's got a cover on there just like the passive speaker build wise looks the same the only difference here obviously you've got a, a reset switch here the LED indicators there and the switch over here now in terms of sizing it's all identical to the passive speaker and now if I flip it over you can see the additional components on this there's a connection point for power and in terms of speaker connection same as the passive speaker push this down put your speaker wire in and let go and then it's connected up clamping wise for the ceiling same method again you just spin this around and then screw comes out you just tighten up and it will just lock into position then coming around here just to show got some connection points there you got the RCA connection points there connection point here to allow you to connect to other Bluetooth ceiling speakers as well so you can chain these up so you could have multiples coming off this and working in conjunction now looking underneath just to show you the difference between the two obviously this one has a cover over some of the components and this one doesn't next thing to mention is the speaker cable here to connect both speakers together five meters in length on there build quality doesn't seem too bad nice and flexible as well you can see the ends of the speaker cable have been soldered up next just to show the speaker hood and the speaker how it sits in there you can just see there so the way it would work obviously you've got the locking mechanism on there so once you've sat this on position the brackets on there would just turn and then lock it down so it all be held in position let's get this connected up so initially we're beginning with a speaker cable so I've shown how to do this if you look at the cable obviously it's black all the way around except one side is red so we'll count this as the red connection here obviously and coming in close just a matter of pushing that down putting that in letting go and it locks into position do the same for the other one so that's firmly in position now do the same on the other one we'll just split it up slightly and there you go so both speakers are connected together now and in terms of power just get the power adapter DC connection there and plug that in and that's it so it's all connected up so now we just need to plug in the three pin plug here so I flipped the speakers over taking the grills off and just to note the switches you see on each of these with the plus and minus they're environmental equalizers so they can increase or decrease the sound levels by three decibels now let me plug in the speaker see a light flashing on there now and go into my mobile if I drop that down turn on Bluetooth go down to the bottom and there you go Life Audio BT2, if I click on that, pair with Life Audio BT2, okay to that, and there you have it, as simple as that to get paired up with this. Next let's test out how loud the speakers can play. So I've got my sound level meter here, so if you go quiet for a moment, ambient noise level in the room is around 36.5 decibels. Now on the speakers themselves, I'll increase the environmental equalizer to maximum, so I'll put the plus. So it'll add on three more decibels onto that and on my phone if I come over here to equalizers and I'll set the equalizers to maximum so we'll go for the maximum we can with this and volume is at maximum as well and let me hit play
97 decibels we're getting out of this, so pretty loud, and you saw for yourself. And in terms of sound quality, there was no distortion at all. So with the maximum setting on the environmental equalizer, maximum equalizer on my phone, and volume at maximum, it didn't struggle in any way. Now, let's take down the equalizer slightly and give it a bit more bass. And let's see how it copes with that now. Let me increase the volume. getting about 91 decibels coming out of there and no struggling at all. So in terms of treble, mid-range and bass, it was all pretty good from this. Now I've taken the fire and acoustic hoods away and let's play again and let's see how the sound levels seem. So sound quality wise, it is pretty good still, but it isn't as good as having the fire and acoustic hood over them. So if you take, for example, a normal speaker, which will be contained in a box, it's a bit like that. So it encloses the sound around and obviously enhances it through that. Now, if you didn't have the speaker hood, the sound may be traveling around your ceiling and it may not be as good and enclosed. Now, looking underneath the Bluetooth speaker, you can see a selector for mono and stereo. So at the moment it's on stereo, but you can flip over to mono if you wanted that. And if I spin it around slightly, you can see a volume limit as well. So it's on 100% at the moment, but if you're worried in case levels are used and they're too high, you can just flip the switch and it switches it to 50%. Another nice about these speakers is the fact it's got the RCA ports on there so you could in fact wire in a connection from your TV for example so it goes straight in there and you're hearing the signal straight out of there another nicety is the life link setup on here so you're not limited to just having two with the connection points here you can pair up more speakers on there so it doesn't come with additional cables for this but it just shows how you'd wire up so for instance you could have six speakers in a large room Another thing worth mentioning is the speaker grill itself. So you can color this. They don't recommend painting this directly with a paintbrush. You'd want to spray over this. So that avoids the holes getting blocked up with paint. But it's nice you're able to do that. So if you did have a different color on your ceiling, you can obviously color it accordingly. Just to show the LED light on the speaker, and that's why you've got the LED cover over here. So you could just stick it on and it's covered up then. So the wireless range on this is up to 30 meters. So let me show you how far I am away from the speakers, just testing this out. You can hear the music in the background. How cool is that? Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of these Bluetooth ceiling speakers. Very simple to set up and configure. Works straight off Bluetooth. And if you're in a scenario where you're retrofitting this in your existing home, you're not doing a full renovation, these are very easy to fit in. Obviously, dependent on space available. In terms of sound quality, sound quality is very good on this. And I like the fact you've got the Bluetooth connectivity on there so you can play music very easily. Also, it has the ability to connect other speakers 
from the same company onto this so that's pretty cool and you can plug in a source directly into the RCA connection on there it's a very impressive bit of kit here another thing to keep in mind is the fire and acoustic hood here so definitely worth investing in that you'll get better quality of sound coming out of this so there you go I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details for the speakers and the speaker hoods are in the description below hang around for the end cards I'll have some more cool tech if you want to check that out give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of these speakers if you haven't liked them drop me a comment and tell me why you haven't liked them so there you go thanks for viewing and see you in the next one